A thief? Well, a fine fine, but it's been a fantastic night for VIP fighters and you've been one of them. Uh, it was um, your, your second win on the bounce and uh, probably, for me, best performance, mate. You, you, you bullied a kid round there and almost had him out in every single round. Yeah, no, definitely he's an experienced, experienced guy, about 20-odd 20, 20 fights or so. So um, I knew he was going to be you know, hungry coming for his experience. So I was just I was trying to push him back and really trying to see if I can... Obviously a good fighter stays smart and composed. They don't look for a stoppage, but mm -hmm. at least you want to kind of uh, impose yourself and you know look for it in an intelligent way. So I was trying to do that, impose him, and I hurt him a, well, a good few times. And I um, uh, didn't get the stoppage, but you know it was convincing all four rounds in the bag. And... That's it. So I was happy, very happy. Well, that, I, I, it was the uh, the combinations and the way you put it together for me that impressed me. And and also, as we were talking about last time, spite. Yeah, no, you was a little bit nasty in there, mate. Yeah, I was, and I, I've had to realise that because I've had a lot of people say to me that, listen, you're you know a nice guy, and, and you know boxing's a, a you know you know you're out to hurt each other. So, to be honest, I think it was after my uh, after my first fight, Matthew Ashmore, and I realised, and, and Liam said it first um, in, in the interview that Liam, Smith. Uh, Liam Smith that's right when you're on the interview after the fight and uh, obviously a lot a lot of people have said it to me in the past and uh, and I said and I just and I thought to myself I said you know what it's, it's true there was only one other fight I had uh, in the white collar ranks I had uh, where this guy he uh, <laughs> he actually really uh, he got under my skin and he got quite offensive to me before the fight uh, I didn't like it, and um, in that fight, I, I knocked him down the first 10 seconds of the fight, and I batted him all over the place. That was the only time I actually wanted to hurt someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After that, yeah, I, I've been like, oh, you know, sports, pugilism, and it's all right, you know, you know, makeup and this and that and so forth, it's fine. But it's at the ring, you have to be I said, Yeah, that's the thing. So after that, after that first fight with Athi Ashwa, I said, that's it, you know, I've got to change, I've got to change my mentality 100%, you know, it's, it's fine, we'll shake hands before the fight and we'll shake hands and hug after the fight. But when that bell rings, it's you or him. So I said, so I've, so I've definitely changed my mentality as I've shown uh, in the last fight and certainly this fight. That um, you know, it's it's not a tickling contest. 100%. Well, obviously, I think it must be helping you down with Lee Beard now. You're settled. You're because you've never you've always trained yourself, haven't you? Yeah. You've never much, really yeah, been a, yeah, been trained by anyone. Yes. And I think uh, that's helping because I've seen you nice combinations there together. Yeah, variety yeah. of shots. You know, you caught him with an uppercut, left hooks, right hands. It was. Uh, it was a fine display, mate. No, definitely. No, I got you mentioned Lee Beard. I've got to say a big thanks to him because he's um, he's really put things down. What I like about Lee, I like is he's got a very. I've always liked the American style of boxing. Mm -hmm. I've always been a big fan, and that's why I'm always over there, you know, with the Mayweather boxing gym. Well, that's how you got your there, in so your involvement in boxing, wasn't it? Because yeah. you're a fan, really, more than anything. Mm. Uh, you know, obviously, you've got a connection with the Khan, but you know, you've got good friendships with uh, Floyd Mayweather and people like this, and. Uh, so you know, I, I take me out to her, and as I was saying to you, very, early on, yeah, very blessed. I mean, I, I was very, you know, I'm blessed with uh, you know good good friends and network in, in the boxing ranks, and uh, I have to say, Floyd as well. He he helped me out as well, and uh, when I spoke to him, because he said recently in the interview, and I, he said that you know a lot of young fighters, he goes, you know, they, they look at money way with her with the single shots. He goes, I want you want them to look at more of pretty boy Floyd when he used to throw combinations. And mm -hmm. then I spoke to him yesterday as well, and I said, look. You know, I, I, I got your words, and I said that's what I'm going to be doing. And he said that's exactly what you do: work hard, fight hard, and when look through those combinations rather than the single shots. So that's what I, you know. I went with that mentality, uh, and you know, Lee Beard definitely. I've been working a lot of things with him, and um, and what one thing about myself is I'm a very analytical, you know, sort of person. And 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 Lee Beard, I like the way he, you know, he'll study things, break things down, and we've been working on things, you know, like that, you know, whether it's basically firstly talking, then we'll do that in, on the pads, we'll do that on the bag, we'll do it in sparring. So things coming together, and today obviously he couldn't be here due to unforeseen circumstances. Uh, um, yeah. But uh, so I was with you know Jimmy's dad. He really helped me a great deal, and uh, so that was that was fantastic. And uh, a sh shout out also to Alex Matvienko for helping me in the corner. And uh, Michael Jennings for taping, doing a brilliant job on my hands. So mm -hmm. thanks very much for that too. He likes doing that, doesn't he, mate? <laughs> Jennings, that's his uh, his new trick now. He does all his elfers and yeah, all his fighters. Very good so. job. No, um, but like I say, it was a great performance. But yeah, as I was saying to you, you know, you've got a big target on your back because to keep that you're fighting. They want to beat you. They yeah. want to beat you extra, yeah. more so than they would do a normal fight. That's because, right. you know, you're... 
You want to start target. a bit of yeah, massive target because you you then must be thinking, what's this guy doing this yeah. for? He, he doesn't need to do this, and yeah. they do. It's yeah. their livelihood. It's this is your this is your fun, and you're beating them. Yeah, do you know what? To be honest, it's it's actually worked out. <laughs> it's a blessing to be honest because I like that. I I prefer it when that person comes out hungry and thinking they can because that it, it it brings something else out in me mm -hmm. in the ring. So to be honest, uh, I I like that and I and I remember that you said that to me ages ago. You said to me, you said, you know what, Artif, you know you're going to be a you know a targeted man. People will be coming for you uh, when they see that you know they they are against without you. Without. And I'm like brilliant, and it's is it's got me in the mindset as well that you know fantastic. Come on, then great. Right. So uh, that's why that's why now. I don't feel as bad when I when I hurt someone in the ring, obviously not mm. outside, uh, but you know inside the ring I don't feel bad anymore because I know they're coming to do exactly the same to me. Yeah. So it helps me. It's helped my mentality. It's helped my uh, you know. I, I've seen a massive own. transformation, Atif. So I'm 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 really looking forward to what's ever next. When is next? Do you know I'll, what? I'll uh, speak to Lee, uh, Steve, Steve Wood, and uh, I, I, I want to be out as soon as possible. Mm. Uh, I want to definitely want to be out before the new before the end of the year. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is probably do another four rounder uh, before the end of the year uh, I know he, he, uh, but yeah we'll confirm that uh, I know he's got something in Manchester before the end of um, uh, the end of the year so that would be great and then probably in the new year look to do maybe you know start doing six rounders but I'll confirm that as well when I speak to well, hopefully this is the, where you get that continuity you know where you can carry something from one fight into another prior to these last three fights you've not been able to do that no. so um, I, I really tough for you mate and we want to give a shout out to some of your sponsors here oh yeah great honestly yeah big big shout out to uh, got the best dental laboratory Swift Dental, mm -hmm. uh, Tipton Training, where I'm doing my masters with them for with the, in dental implantology. Going to do, uh, we've got a couple of uh, implant cases uh, this month. So uh, no, sorry, uh, next month. That's right. So looking forward to do with, with Tipton Training, Greenleaf, best for wedding and catering uh, managements, uh, CPS accident management. God forbid, but they're there if you need them. And the best chocolate brownies in the world, sweet tooth brownies. <laughs> and, and yeah, big thanks to. Floyd Mayweather and his team, Eddie Mustafa, a quick one, I was speaking to Eddie Mustafa on the phone as well, we broke down the last fight, we were speaking, and he said to me, he goes, um, he said, I know you can do, um, he goes, good performance, but I know you can do a lot better, uh, and, 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 he, and he t you know, we talked about a few things, what to improve and how to improve it, and I hope when he sees this fight, he says, yep, that's what I was saying, so, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to be happy here, I'm going to be back in the gym next week. Uh, work on more things, improve a uh, little, you know, look, look, you know, look to improve, uh, and you know, I just want to, you know, move, you know, move forward and uh, imp continue improving. Great. Well, I'm seeing improvement every time, mate, and you're putting a little smile on my face. So, thanks, Lee. Well done, mate. That. Bye, bye. Thanks so much. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>